Welcome back to Crafting with Puy Designs. In this class, I'm going to show you how you can use um, this uh, Canva editable design that I have on my website. If you purchase it, um, this is the video that I I'm creating for you to see how you can use it. Um, I love this. I love this. I love this because you can use it in the free version of Canva. You don't have to pay for for additional um, pieces that are are in it. Um, do know that uh, when you see the small crowns on the items here in Canva, that means they are in they are for the pro version. If you don't have the pro version and you use one of them in your image, you will have to pay for it. But I have created this whole design with uh, with in the free version with all free items. Okay, the images you will have to add in your images, but all these other things here are free. You only pay for um, the design itself on my website or on my Etsy, and um, the rest is just for you to edit and to save it and to print it. Um, let me start with, uh, this page here is 16 by 20 inch. Okay, 16 by 20 inch. And the first thing we're going to do is go to position. Um, and I'll show you exactly how to change, how to customize it to your liking. Okay, when you go to position and you go on the layers, you will see all the layers that are here all the layers um this is the like the page itself the white background and then we have the first one the pink one and then the blue like purplish one that you see here and you see this spat red thing is over here and this is the first lady here and then the year and then the other one and then the white spat here you know, let me select it you see that that is here and then the other lady then the congratulations um the senior the logo the school name down here the class of that is here this one that you did it right here and you see everything the name and everything so all these are in layers okay they are in layers let me see what overlap overlapping okay I'll, I'll keep it on here they are on layers and um you can change the color so let's go to text i'll go to the text here let me tell you that all the text here you can customize it to what you want okay um I, when i select text look when i deselect everything is normal but when i select text everything here opens um, you see the, the text uh, font, the font that I'm using, it's called Yearbook Solid. This is one. It's like varsity college font. It's a very nice font. I'm so happy that it's in here. Yearbook um, Solid. And when I select it too, you see effects is also, effects, effects is also uh, selected. Oh, when I click on effects, I see that um, I have the text. Sorry, let's go back to text text is on white like you see here it's on white and then effects is on pink and this is the if outline that we use in the effect the outline one so we have this one okay and this one we use for class of we use for 2023 we use it for senior we use it for this other font here you see the effect we use it for all those um parts except this one okay when i click on it you, you see the effect is not selected but when we go to text we see that text is white look if i make it red it will be red okay we have it on white okay so all these text here you can customize you can change it um if i go to senior and for instance i, I, will, I will i will double click on it okay double click on it just click on it and look i can erase it you see that but the text field the text field over there is still on yearbook solid and it still have the has the effect let's say i want to write down um, um grad look 
when I write down grad, you see, I can change senior to grad. I can change it to whatever word I want to. Okay, I can change it to grad. Um, let's go. If I want to change the text color we have here, I can change it to this kind of brown. And it's X here. Change all, not all white, but this one. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Let's go back. Go back with this. I'll select, I'll change it. Yeah, to white. And I'll change it to red. Come on now. I'll change it to red. I don't want it to ask me anything. Let me go select it again. All right. Okay. Went here. Let's see here. Let me go down. Change all. I don't want to change all white too. Only this one I want to change. I don't like it asking me these things. Okay, I change only this one. You see, so you can change the color to this. Mm -mm. This thing is bothering me. But you, you, you see what I mean. I want to change it to blue. To change it to blue. Color changes across all pages. Don't do that. Okay. I had it on white. Yeah, I had it on white. I'll change it to white. Okay, so you can change the colors, okay? Here too. Mm -hmm. You see the 2023? You double click on it. And you can erase it. You see, you can erase it. If you if next year you want to put 2024, let me fix it. Enter, enter, select it, enter. If you want them to meet more, like to come together more, like a spacing, select all. I will select all and I will fix the spacing. You see, bring them more to each other. Let me see. Yeah, bring them more to each other or put more spacing between them. Okay, the class of, we did the same thing. You can change what, what, the, what words you want. And here too, it also has um, text on white. And I use Miss Truly font. It's a free font. And I use effects too. When we go to effects, we see here, you can change the effect color. You can change it. You see that? You can change it. So you can change everything in here. That's what I love so much about this um, design. So you need to change, to see what you're changing. And all that. I want to keep mine on this. And change the color to pink like it was and here you can see the thickness of your stroke your outline how thick you want it to be you do it right here okay um, um and here i put the school name you can change your your college name you can change your logo put the logo here when you go back to position you see here this is the logo okay this is the logo right here. You can uh, um, erase it and put yours, upload yours. Um, yeah, and so you change the colors, even for the for the big uh, stroke in the back, these ones. You can select it. You see it selected here, you go in and change it to whichever color you want. Purple, if you want it purple. You want it green or, you know, it's up to you how you want to change it. And you always go back here if you want to select a particular thing in it. You look for it here. I'll select this one. You see the color is here. And I will select, for instance, I want the color to be blue. You see, that's how I will change the colors. Your images, you can upload your images through here uploads into your computer let me tell you something in the new ver in the free version where i am right now 
I cannot use um, remove background because that's for the paid version. If you want to remove your background, go to remove.bg, remove background, it's right here, remove.bg, you upload your design from your computer, okay, upload it from your computer in here, and then it will remove the background for you. Let's see what we have. Let's say I want to use this guy. I want to remove the background. Okay. It will come in here and it will remove the background. You see? It has it. And then I can download it into my computer. And when I download it in my computer, I will go back to Canva. And then I will upload it from here. And it will come into my files. Which one is it? Oh, come on now. This one. This one. Let's see. Yeah, you see it's removed. And then if I want to add it to my design, I have it. You see that? So that's what you need to do when you work in the free version of Canva. Okay. I think I cover everything. So when you, when you purchase this. Okay. Yeah. Let me talk about this one. This part too. You double click on it. And you can um, get your text, and then you can, you see, you can change it. But it's still in the in the in the field, like the bow field. If I write, let's say, um, Merry Christmas. You see, it's still in the bow. In the, you see, I still have it here. And you do the same thing. You select it. You change this the color that you want. No, not this color. Oh, not this one. Okay, this one. I'm just showing you. And then you see effects is uh, effects is also selected. Go to effects. I have it on here, and I have pink. You can go and add whatever color you want. You see that? Okay. So it's hundred percent, like ninety nine percent editable. So um, your your images, you put your images. If you want to um, align, not align, like sort them. Always go to position and find where they are, and then you move them. If I want to put this behind this one, I need to drag it down and bring it here. You see, I put it there. And then this thing is there. I want it to the back. I drag it down. Okay. If you want to, you can look in Canva for parts, free parts. Let's go in here. Brush strokes. You need to look for free one. Like this one is free. You can place it somewhere here. And and color it. You can color it. Let's say I will choose this blue. Okay. And then I will go to position. And I will drag it. So that it can, you know. And then you can design it and, and see what you want from it. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to um, save it as a PNG. Um, I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to group it. Like you see here, group. Okay. And then I'm going to make it a little bit larger on my paper. A little bit, not too large, but a little bit larger. Okay, like this. I'm going to try to get a little bit down here. Okay, can go a little bit up. Okay, here I have it. Now I'll go here to share. I'll go to share. And I'll go to download. We're going to download it. And here we have PNG. And we have six pages. If I want to trans um, transport it with a transparent background, export it with a transparent background, I will have to have the paid version. So I'm not going to do that. 
I'll go here in all six pages and I'll deselect this one right here. And I'm at page two. So it says the current page, page two. I'm going to select that and I select done. Okay. And then I'll download it into my computer. Okay. It's already downloaded to my computer. I'm going to use Silhouette Studio for the printing. Okay, here I am in Silhouette Studio. Um, before I open it, I'm going to fix my page first. I'll go to page setup. Machine, I'm not, I'm not using that. I'm not using the mat. Custom. I have media size on custom because uh, when I click in here, look in here, I don't see 13 by 19 paper that I want to print it on. So I'll click on custom and then I will put in my own um, measurements in here. 13 inch wide and 19 inch long. And I have it in portrait orientation. Okay, show print border. My print border is not good here. It's not good. I have to fix it. My print border has to be on my paper on my whole paper okay this gray line here so i'll go to file print page setup and and you see the size of the print border is 8.5 by 11 i don't want that it should be 13 by 19 and i find it here under super b 13 by 19 and i'll print from my um, paper cassette number two and i'll select okay and you see my print border is uh, fixed to my 13 by 19 paper so i'll go to file merge i'll bring it to this same page here and i'll select it and it will come in and you see it's right here but it's small but it's it has a certain size um that it had in canva it was 16 by 20. so um this proportion i want to keep like the ratio i want to keep so i'm going to lock it right here and um i know the widest part is here and the white this part i want it on 13 inch i need to be here 13 well and then i put 13 and i'll select enter okay and it's big you see the height is good because it's 19 and here is 13. so i will keep it selected and i will click on here so it will Put it for me, fix it in the middle of the of the paper. So here, if I want to, I can drag it a little bit as long as I stay as as, as my image stays in the border in the in the wall of the print border. I can drag it a little bit more. Okay. Okay, this this is what I will be able to print out. Okay, and then I go to file, print to see how it will be. If everything is okay. Oh yes, everything is okay. 13 by 19, you see that? I can print it like this. And then, um, sublimate it on my shirt. So you can get this design from my website. I will leave the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you have any questions about it. Thank you. Bye.